Good afternoon. My name is Jess Markowitz. I'm an independent Cincy Family Director, and my team name is Jesse's Angels Saving Lives because I believe we truly have the ability to save and change people's lives. Today is February 7th, and I just got back from Spring Sprint 2014 in Mesa, Arizona. I went out there to visit my Cincy family out there. And then on Thursday, or excuse me, Monday the 3rd, I was in Ontario, California, and I got to see all my Cincy family out there, as well as I had the privilege to do a breakout session, which is a training on a specific subject, which I will be uploading my training as soon as possible so all of you guys can see it if you weren't able to participate. But why I am speaking with you today is because the experience that I had the past uh, couple days at the two different spring sprints really brought something interesting to my mind, and I wanted to share it with all of you today. <laughs> so while I was training at the Ontario location. It's interesting when you don't know who's in your crowd and what they're thinking. And that's probably one of the scariest things about speaking in front of people is you just don't know what reaction that you're going to get. You don't know if they're going to fall asleep or if they're going to think that you aren't a good trainer or if you don't know what you're talking about. Um, your true intentions are to really inspire people to, to believe that they can do what you what you do. And I have to say that I got some great results. I met two different people in uh, Arizona that happened to be in the California <laughs> Spring Sprint, and they came up to me and told me that they absolutely loved my training, and that made me feel so great. But one of them went on to saying that the person next to her was talking about how much I was full of you-know-what. <laughs> like, literally was saying everything that came out of my mouth was just ridiculous and I was full of it and the first second that she's telling me this of course I'm a human being I'm like oh, oh my gosh how sad I'm so devastated but then I looked at what the things the lady was saying and I was watching how the the consultant that was telling me about this person the way she basically impersonated this woman and I immediately got negative energy from her. It wasn't the consultant that was telling me, but it was the negative energy that she was basically expressing that this lady was giving off. And I wanted to talk to you about the word belief. Do you believe? Because that had a lot to do, actually everything to do with what I was talking about at, in my training that day, is how we have to believe that it's possible. Because the second you tell yourself that it's not, or and you tell yourself stories that nobody wants to book a party with you, and people just don't like to book parties anymore, or nobody wants to do direct sales anymore, or you just aren't good at sponsoring people, whatever you're telling yourself and what you believe, whether it's good or bad, is absolutely the truth. A hundred percent. And this lady telling me the story of what this lady beside her was saying about me made me realize how true that is. That this lady believes that I'm full of it and that everything I had to say is inaccurate, which tells me that everything she has to say is also true. Because if she has the mindset that people don't want to book parties with her and people don't keep parties, then that's true. Because what happens when you believe in something? You take the actions to support it, correct? So she believes that nobody wants to book a party. Therefore, she's going to take actions which are negative actions and not ask anybody and when she does she's going to stop when they tell her no so it's all the way you look at everything when you hear a no how do you how do you receive that no 
Do you receive it as, oh my gosh, I'm horrible. Nobody loves me. Nobody likes me. It's me. I, I should just go crawl under a rock. Then if that's what you believe, then that's what it is. Maybe you should go crawl under a rock. It's my mother-in-law. Sorry. She's about to do a tax call for you guys tonight, so she's probably calling me about that. Anyways, but if you believe that you have something to offer and that there are truly people out there, what are you going to do? You're going to ask people and share with people and you're going to find those people because you're looking for them. You're looking for the people that want to buy your products, host the parties with you and have fun with you and party with you and find the people that are looking for an opportunity that you have to give. So do you believe, do you believe that you have an opportunity to provide, to buy an amazing product, to host a fun and exciting party that they're going to get free and half off items with, or an amazing opportunity that they can choose to do whatever they want to do with it. They can choose to get a discount and that's it. They can choose to sell only to their friends and family and that's it. They can choose to make this a full-time, part-time job that will give them a full-time, part-time income. And what do I mean by that? Meaning consistent income to whatever they're looking for, whether it's part-time consistent income or if they want to go a step further and turn it into a full-time income. But the only way that's going to happen is if they believe it's possible. So I'm asking all of you, do you believe it's possible? The only reason why I'm here to talk to you about this is because I believe. And I believe the second I joined. I believed it was possible and I still do. Am I making the money that when I really looked at my ultimate goal and my ultimate dream? No, I'm not there yet. But am I making the, the money that I had hoped for in order to keep me going and be able to continue this wonderful journey? Absolutely. Is it only about money for me? No, it's not. Because if it was only about money, I would have quit a long time ago. Because money doesn't keep us going. Money eventually is spent. And there's something that we have to keep going that keeps us going. And what do you think that is? Belief, right? Belief that there's more. Belief that you have still opportunity to grow and receive whatever that is that you're looking for. Whether it's a community of amazing people to be surrounded by on a regular basis. Or whether it's just to have something to do and believe in and represent. Maybe to travel to all these amazing events twice a year, three times a year. Whatever you choose to make it become. But you have to know what that is and what you believe in. And if you know what you believe in, but you're not quite sure how to link it to this business, you're not connecting with this business enough. You're not participating in everything that's available to you enough. Because the people that do connect and stay involved, they find their purpose in this business. And it's different with every single person. Every single person. But you have to believe that you will find it if you already don't know what it is. And you have to believe that you will receive it. Have a great day. Please make sure that you participate on in our team meeting that's going to be via webinar if you're not here local to Vegas. And all of our Spring Sprint attendees are going to be sharing their aha moments and what they learned um, with you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.